Hello guys, here is JNM with a new tutorial for Unreal Engine 4. I created this little scene with the help of the modular Swamp Shack pack. You can find the link in the video's description. And in this tutorial I will use the sequencer to create a cutscene with that. The first open the sequencer window and then add a level sequence. In the sequencer you have many possibilities to add different kinds of tracks, but we will just create a simple cutscene and therefore I click this camera symbol and a camera is added to the scene and to the sequencer as an actor. By default the camera is locked to the viewport, but I will unlock this now so that we can see the camera. Here you can see the camera actor in the scene and in the lower right hand corner there is a preview of the camera's view. Now I find a starting position for the camera in this cutscene. Okay, I think that's a good starting point. And now I will enable, if it isn't already, the auto key all feature. This means every time I change the position, rotation or scaling of my actor, a keyframe is added to the timeline. And here you can see that the keyframe is added for the first frame for the starting position of the camera. And now I move to the last frame and change the position to the end point of the camera. And again, a keyframe is added automatically. Alright, that's all we have to do for the camera. And now I will select this sequence and set it to autoplay so that it will be played when the game is started. To play it more slowly, you can set the play rate here. I set it to 0.4. Alright, here you can see the scene when we hit the play button. It looks quite nice already, but it would be really cool if this boat and the wood bank in the water would reflect the water's movement. And how this can be done, I will show you right now. It's really simple. Select the boat. And then in the sequencer, make sure that you have the auto keyframes enabled. And now you can select the boat again and change every, let's say, 15 or 20 frames the rotation of the boat. And each time you do this, a keyframe is added to the timeline and with that you created an animation. Try to add different kind of rotations for C, Y and X axis. And then use the slider to move through your timeline and preview your animation. And after that we do just the same thing for this wood blank. Select it, change to the rotation tool and then add a different rotation after every 15 or 20 frames. Alright, we are done. Now let's see a preview before we render the cutscene as a movie. Now to render the movie, click this icon here. 
Define all the settings and by default an AVI video is captured. And when the capturing is finished, you can open the folder and see the final result. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you find this video useful and if you do, then please subscribe to not miss a future video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon on JNM.